It has a pop. God, it's just good, ain't it, girl? Okay, so I'm back. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm back with another beauty video. Today I'm going to be testing out the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I'm going to let you guys know if it is overly hyped or if it's worth the hype. I do have proof of you know my claims in this video, so stay tuned for the videos of the nine hour test wear and wear test. And I actually did wear it for 24 hours, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you up front, it is a bomb foundation. It's very bomb. It's very bomb. So this is the color coconut, and this is the same as my Maybelline Matte and Poreless color. So if you do know your color in Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, it's the same. All right, so what I, you do have to move like kind of quickly, even though it it does, it brush it up. You have to move like kind of quickly. And I love, this is the best brush to use. It's a flat top brush, $2 from Wet n Wild at Walmart or Walgreens. This color does kind of look, it, it's orange. We're not gonna lie here. We're just gonna tell the truth and shame the devil. It's orangey, but I mean, look how, look how it's not even like sliding on my hand yet. So that tells you the consistency. But the thing is about this, I promise it seems like it oxidizes or something into my complexion color. It's like it changes tones. So going in, I wouldn't use too much if you have a shade that's like slightly off as far as undertones. the difference already this side is not covered and I'm wearing no concealer like I don't even need concealer with this foundation and I've only used a little bit okay now despite the fact that it is a little orange right now look at the coverage it is amazing and it's not going anywhere and I've honestly I'm just gonna give you the tea now I've tested it over 24 hours and I did the done the transfer test even like four hours eight hours into it and there is no transfer. Like, I'm serious. Now, unless you just like determined to get transfer all over yourself, yeah, then yes. But as far as my hand, I did the hand test and I slapped myself and everything. Nice. I'm serious. Now, I would compare the Milani 2 and 1 to this as far as coverage, but the Milani was really oily and it just did not last at all. And it um, transferred too much. The blend after it's, you know, then dried up, but like, I'm just sick of them. I hope their batteries fall out their cars. I'm just tired of them. Now, even though the product doesn't just like slide over your face like liquid, it does move though after, you know, you've applied it. Now see, it's not as orange. I don't know what happened, but this is like magic. Like it does, it blends. Like this is definitely my color. Like you see, it looks good with my chest which is normal. You know, I am so tired of them. Girl, shut up. You see how it's like blending? It's not like orange anymore. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> and this is the final look. This is just some lashes, a little concealer, some setting powder, and my favorite setting spray. Now, speaking of setting spray, honestly, you don't need to have setting powders. But I, I love setting sprays because they just make it better and then they make your face look more dewy or well, some of them. If you are a dewy person already and you want to stay more matte, then I would go with a matte um, a matte setting spray. But honestly, the Wet n Wild is pretty good for both. The natural finish is always oh, amazing. It gives you like a natural glow even without concealers and highlighters and all that good stuff. These are like $3 from drugstores. The foundation is just like, it's, it's nice, like you can look at it. It's, it's blended now, it's not looking as orange as it was at first, and again, this is 355 Coconut. Um, 
I did use the highlighter from Master Chrome. It does, I'm not really impressed because it just seemed like it took a lot of swabs or swatches or whatever to get that glow. Um, and I'm dark skinned so it shows up really golden on me and I don't like gold highlighters. I do have a video that is specific for highlighters but I prefer the Wet n Wild highlighters. They're more pigmented and I like champagne-ish wet look versus gold. A golden glow. I don't want to look like a golden glow, okay? I'm already golden brown out here in these streets. Brown and star, all that. So, yeah. Now, um, but my final thoughts about this, I'm going to show you guys in the next clip. I'm going to update and give you guys a four hour update, an eight hour update, and then a nine hour update. I'm not going to show you the 24 hour update because I wasn't supposed to sleep in the foundation and my hair was looking a mess. So, yeah. But I'm just going to give you the tea up front and let you guys know that this is the best foundation that I have ever purchased. Better than high end, better than Fenty, better than any foundation because of the fact that it is ultra matte, first of all. It's super matte without even being drying. I don't even know like how that's possible. It's dry, well not dry, but it's matte, but it feels lightweight, very lightweight, like barely there. And then it has no leave, not leave out, what the heck is that called? No, um, transfer. No, I just did a swipe too. Now I don't want to mess it up too much. You know, because I have some videos to do. But um, yeah, just the transfer is amazing. Better than MAC, which is why I left MAC. But um, also, it has a pop. God, it's just good, ain't it, girl? So. I appreciate them for this one. This is better than the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Now the only thing is that the shades are not as selective and wide ranged as the matte, the um, the Fit Me collection. But I believe that's because they're just doing a relaunch to see if we're gonna buy it. I think the more people buy this foundation, it's going they're going to expand. I just know that they will because they've already shown themselves true when it comes to different um, undertones and colors for women of color so shout out to maybelline this is just the best it's only 11 dollars. i think i got it for 10 at walmart but it's just amazing it's lightweight but it's matte like super matte like not going anywhere all day matte it lasts 24 hours okay and then it has a pump and then no transfer five five reasons so compared to all the other foundations, the NARS, all of those who barely even cater to women of color, I think Maybelline has blown everyone out of the park. I'm just saying, Fit Me Matte and Poreless has the most ranges of foundations, period. Period. Even better than Queen Collection and Black Opal because they have the pale tones and then the dark tones and then the different undertones, which a lot of companies don't focus on. All dark skin girls are not we don't have yellow undertones or we're not just red, you know? So, I'm just saying. It is not an overly hyped up foundation. It is hyped for a reason. And I have to say, I agree with the hype. It is bomb. Now, last but not least, why I won't be wearing this every day or that often is because of the compound that's in it. It's a chemical, it's called anoxyethanol. I have to say that as a disclaimer. It is proven to have to cause cancer in certain animals and also it's banned in other countries. I think it's banned for a reason and that's why I have a video dedicated on the whole synopsis on everything with my research. It's The title of my video is called Why I'm Throwing Away All of My Makeup. Threw away like $1,500 worth of makeup because of that ingredient. I don't want that on my face. I don't want that in my pores every day. I just don't want that in me. I don't. I don't, I don't. So other than that, I mean, it's your choice. This is just going to be a foundation for a quick video or something because it's so full coverage. I don't have to worry about concealers and all of that hype. So yeah. It is about four hours later. Everything is still in set. That's just highlighter, but everything is.
real. And this is like nine hours later. Because I did it at like seven in the morning. I was filming pretty early and I had these actual um, fake lights on. So I'm about to take my wig off and go on to the next. But this is a bomb foundation. Like it really is. This is a bomb foundation. It's definitely that. It's seamless. And And these are more videos that I've worn my foundation in to further prove that I have been testing it for over a week now. And these hairstyles are on my playlist. And the links will be in the description box because they are from my hair company. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. This is definitely an overhyped, well it's not overhyped, but it is hyped up on the internet and I do have to agree with the hype, you guys. It's amazing. You guys know I tell the truth. I give my uh, my experience and I also give constructive criticism if the brands are watching. I don't just rip them apart. A lot of people felt a certain way because of the Fenty review just because she was black, but it has nothing to do with color at all. It has nothing to do with her talent. It just, you know, that was my opinion. That's what I endured for $34. So for $11, this foundation is bomb. Even if it was $20, I would have to cop it. Now, the Fenoxy Ethanol, I'm not cool with so I don't I won't be wearing this I'm going to stick with my faithful Neutrogena skin clearing foundation because it is um, toxic free and it has salicylic acid which helps um, prevent acne so that's my take on this you know wonderful foundation thank you guys for watching check out my previous videos on beauty topics like um, highlighters for women of color the best foundations for women of color keep in mind those videos are a little old like last year and maybe year before but it's still factual. And all of those foundations do have Phenoxia at all in it, so. But I also have a whole playlist of just foundation reviews if you're just interested in foundation. So make sure you click on my, my channel and go to playlists. And have a, have a field day. See you guys in my next video.